That's good information, Mr. Valdez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, Counselor. it is. Counselor? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Because you're in the microphone. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Ms. Guevara, let me first commend you for not just directing what I believe is the, <clears throat> the most difficult department of, the, of our county to head as you're directing it, but also for a whole career. You have been there for over 30 years, and that believe, I believe is more commendable than you directing it, holding for 30 years in that department in an honorable way, like I aware you have done. I want to bring an issue, ma'am. We have been, uh, I have been approached personally by various individuals. Some of them are members of the Al Ansar Islamic Center. That's the first Islamic center here in Miami, founded by the African American community many years ago in this, at the time of the civil rights movement. Uh, also by some inmates, uh, family members and some inmates directly, as well as directors from various uh, Islamic organizations, such as uh, the Council on American Islamic Relations, uh, Cosmos, uh, the American Muslim Association of North America, because in uh, back in uh, October 1st, your department circulated a notice that I'm gonna give a copy, uh, courtesy copy to you. It was a, uh, regarding the the meals being served uh, for the Muslim population. Uh, I'm proud to say that never uh, the Muslim population have had any complaints towards the administration regarding being served the appropriate meals according to their religious beliefs. Indeed, they were being served kosher meals uh, that are suitable for Muslims as well. This is directed thought to the mainly Jewish uh, community, but is uh, Islamically appropriate for Muslims to consume it as well. But according to this uh, directive or notice that I just gave to you, ma'am, it says that effective on October 1st, 2014, inmates requesting a faith-based diet for the Muslim faith will be approved for the master or general population menu, meaning no longer they're, not, they're gonna receive neither the halal diet, that is the appropriate for Muslims to receive, nor the kosher meals. I know that the, also that the department acted upon some advice by a religious uh, leader or imam, and our community, very similar to the Jewish community, and the rabbi is here, it doesn't operate in a hierarchical structure, like for example, the Catholic Church, you have a priest, uh, bishop, cardinals, and it goes to the Pope. So it is a directive that covers the whole uh, church. The Islamic faith doesn't operate that way. So based on that advice, the, the, the Department of Correction acted in uh, eliminating that meals, but it's not acceptable to the majority of Muslims. What can you do to allow Muslims have the kosher, the religiously mandated me, uh, meals as um, be covered and away from a potential litigation of people claiming that the department have violated the RLUIPA uh, law. Okay. Thank you for it. I know I exceeded my time. Um, yes, um, you're correct. We did make this change. Um, the change was in tangent with um, walking through the process with the imam who's actually been the volunteer that we've had for several years. So I would offer you this, if um, there is an issue, um, you can reach out to me and I will schedule a meeting with you know, whoever you feel is appropriate to relook at the meals that we're serving. But it was not something that we just changed um, because we decided to change. It was, uh, again, a deep conversation and walking through the process with Imam Nasriya who's been serving as our volunteer Good. imam for several years. Good, and there's an, and briefly to close in, there are alternatives that I know there are budget uh, uh, tightness in the, in the department, but there are alternatives to the kosher meal that could be pre meals prepared in the institution that are suitable for Muslims. Uh, just probably ways to work around it that are being uh, resolved in economics I, to, the, I, to I, the department. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Mr. Calvacoli.